Welcome to Benjamin TV. Today I'm gonna give you my mac and cheese recipe, actually inspired by Alton Brown on the Food Network. Uh, this is the easiest mac and cheese recipe I know of, and I've tried to perfect my mac and cheese. And if you want an easy one that's creamy and delicious but quick to do, this is it for you. I'll go right into the ingredients. Of course, you want your macaroni. Uh, if you want, you can use shells like me or you can use elbow macaroni. Um, I've got my cheese. I've got an Irish cheddar and Gruyere. I'm going fancy, but you can use really any cheese you want, but I would suggest cheddar. Um, I've got uh, butter and then I've got eggs and then um, I've also got evaporated milk. In addition, I also am using salt and pepper and dry mustard and cayenne pepper. First thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and uh, boil your pasta. Now for this, make sure your pasta water is already at a rolling boil. That's very important and I like to use a nice big pot for that. The reason being, if your water isn't hot enough, um, it's going to go in there and it's not going to cook correctly and you won't have as delicious a mac and cheese. Don't forget to salt your water. So I just go ahead and put that in right before I uh, put my pasta in. Go ahead and mix that up. Go ahead and put your pasta in. Mix that up. Go ahead and set your timer based on the pasta's directions. Alright, while your pasta is boiling, we're going to get started on the cheese sauce. First thing you're going to want to do is add your evaporated milk. Crack a couple of eggs in there. Add your pepper your dry mustard and cayenne pepper for that heat and you mix all right once your timer goes off go ahead and turn off the heat and all I'm gonna do is drain this pasta and return the pasta to the pot I'm using to boil it so I've just drained my pasta I've got it on a super low heat uh, because I didn't drain it well enough but if you drain all the water you don't need to turn the heat on at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and add my butter and go ahead and mix that. I'm using an unsalted butter today. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and add my sauce mixture right in. Mix that up. At this point, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and add your cheese in. I would suggest adding your cheese very gradually. And even though I have the measurements below, because all cheeses are different, you're going to want to go ahead and eyeball this and get it to the texture that you want it. Alright, the cheese is nice and melted. It's to the texture that I desire and I'll go ahead and plate. Bam! Easiest mac and cheese recipe ever. Let's taste that. Mmm! so easy but so delicious that was mac and cheese make sure you subscribe comment below and thanks for watching right in. you're not cooking the sauce only thing that's cooked is the pasta Woo oh yeah